Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I just want to say welcome. Please don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to hit the notification bell next to it so you don't miss any of my videos. So today I'm going to show you how to personalize a gift box in Design Space. So let's get started. For the text image, which I created my son's name on Inkscape, and I will link a video below under the description box in case you'd like to see it on how I did it. So first I'm going to click on this image because we will need to detach the score lines. So on the right bottom panel, click detach. Then I'm going to grab the score line to move it away from the box. Then I'm going to grab the layered text and place it right here. Now let's go to arrange and send the text to the front. You can place your text anywhere you'd like on the window. I'm just going to click on the rotation arrow then place it anywhere here. And resize it a bit. The text is still selected and it shows right here. And I'm going to ungroup the text. Grab the black text and leave the shadow on top of the box. And there you go. Now select the box in the text. On the bottom right panel, click Weld. It is now one image. Now let's grab the scored line and place it back on top of the box and see how it disappears. It is because it's behind the box. So let's click Arrange and send it to the front. So now I'm going to select both. Then go to the top panel, click Align and go down to center. They are both still selected, so on the bottom right panel, let's click Attach. Now I'm going to the text, but first let's go to Arrange and send it to the front so we can view how it looks. Now let's click Make It. Right here on the previous screen, it shows you how many mats you'll be using. Click Continue. I have the setting on poster board because that is what I am using for the bottom of the box. I am just loading the scoring tool by opening the latch on slot A, insert the tool, and I have my right finger on the bottom of the holder and lightly assist the tool to be snapped in place. You will hear a click then you can go ahead and close the latch. This is just a tip but I always take my blade and push the blade out and I have an aluminum foil to stab it with in case there are any debris or dirt stuck on the blade. Then just pop the blade back in and close the latch. Load the mat and click go. It will score the lines first and then it will start cutting. Unload the mat. And I prefer to fold the mat in a taco shape and then gently remove the mat while my other hand is keeping the material on the table. So now let's load the next mat and please don't forget to change your settings. Now click go. Unload the mat and carefully remove the paper away from the mat. I am using a spatula to help me pick up the paper without tearing. And there you go. Now let's go ahead and load the next mat and click go. This is the other part of the box that has a window. It is now scoring. Once that's done, it will start cutting. Unload the mat and then gently remove the mat while my other hand is keeping the material on the table. Now that we're on the assembly part and I have this leftover piece of scrapbook paper, 
And this was already been cut and I thought it'd be a nice add to this project. And the size for this is 6.6 .6 in inches. So right here you will see a score line and I'm going to fold and follow the crease from there. And I'm going to do that on all sides. And I'm just going to fast forward to get to the next step. I am doing the same thing for the other part of the box. Find the score line, fold and follow that crease and do it all on four sides. Now on this step, just determine where you will be placing the tape, glue, or whichever you prefer to finish assembling the box. This is my bottom box, so I'm just going to run my tape on these flaps to close this one side. Then there's this piece of scrapbook paper that was just a leftover that I wanted to use. I'm just running my tape on all sides. and stick it inside the box. Then finish up taping the other side of the box. Now this will be a repeat process. Determine where you will be placing your tape. Run the tape on all sides and press the sides together to stick. And with the name, I'm just going to put little dots of glue and just kind of spreading it around. And I didn't want to touch the sticky part, so I'm just going to use a tweezer to pick up the paper and place it on top of the shadowed text. And there you go. That is how to personalize a gift box. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment. And I will also link the file under the description box for you to use. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.